All right, so as you can see here, this is now just up to the point where gear lock is wanting to know where the partition is for the OS. So obviously in this instance, it is going to be number two, which represents the second partition on this particular disc. And just remember, there is only one SSD on this system with two partitions. First partition, as we can see here, is that one, which is the, well, basically it's the EFI bootloader. And then the second one is the operating system. So I'm just going to select two for the second operating, or sorry, for the second partition with the OS in. Hit enter. And let's see what happens here. Okay, now this is very interesting because what, what this has done, it looks like it is actually installed. And the only difference between this and the previous way that I tried to install it where it wouldn't install was either it was multiple partitions on the same drive, in which case telling it where the, where the OS partition was didn't make any difference anyway, or at the outstretch, I think it might be because the drive was a um, let's see it was a, a an NVMe drive and the thing with the NVMe drives I've seen problems with them before under Linux and Android when I've been trying to install stuff it's as if it might require a different hardware driver or something to understand what the driver is doing itself would it be an NVMe as opposed to just standard SATA anyways yeah so that looks like it's gone in so far so what I'm going to do here is hit enter and then this is going to power off the system, reboot and all the rest of it. Let's just see what happens here. Okay, Phoenix, I'll just hit enter to force it in. It would have gone in anyway. Okay. So SDA2 there is where, obviously, the OS is. And that's actually pausing. <laughs> okay. Right, it would have been into the OS by now. Okay, let's just see what's going on here. Okay, right. Well, that seems a little bit problematic. Hmm. Let's see what that looks like. It's resetting or rebooting. Yep, that's rebooted. Okay. Tell you what, this time I won't force it to go to the OS. I'll let it time out from that from that little grub menu there. Okay, it's, it's paused again. All right, I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Oh, well, it got it. Okay, well, that's a bit odd. I've never seen it do that before. <laughs> All right. I mean, to say that it got there in the end is one thing, but I'm not entirely sure that I'm happy that it didn't see it the first time around when it rebooted. Okay, that feels like it could be something that's going to be problematic in the future. Right, so now if I go here, there's gear lock. So let me just click on gear lock. Let me allow it to have um, super user stuff there. We get out of that. And then we get up here. Gear lock not found. Oh, okay. That is exactly the same as it had been in the past. Okay, so that definitely still is not working. Um, that would that looks to me like it's going to require files being moved and maybe the config file being altered. So that definitely is exactly the same as the first version of GearLock 6 uh, on this system. Okay, there we go.